The debate over allowing Syrian refugees in the U.S. ignited by the Paris attacks continues tonight following yesterday's controversial vote in the U.S. House. And tonight we're hearing from Congressman James Langevin, one of a handful of Democrats who voted in favor of tougher screenings for refugees. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance continues our in-depth coverage live in the studio. Shannon Congressman Jim Langevin says he used his own judgment when he voted in favor of that bill. He says he does not want to stop refugees from coming. He just wants to give more checks and balances. A week after ISIS terrorists killed 120 plus people in Paris, the U.S. struggles with how to handle a massive influx of Syrian refugees. And the bill is passed. In Washington, the House easily passed a bill Thursday that would suspend the program allowing Syrian and Iraqi refugees into the U.S. until key national security agencies certify that they do not pose a security risk. The bill is called the American Safe Act of 2015. The House voted 200. 189 to 137. 47 Democrats joined Republicans, creating a majority that could override President Barack Obama's promised veto. One of the 47 Democrats is Rhode Island Rep Jim Langevin. Well, I understand the argument on the other side as well. And again, it was a judgment call, and I, I respect those who came to a different conclusion. The push for the bill comes after a Syrian refugee passport was linked to a terrorist in the Paris attacks. Fellow Rhode Island Democrat Senator Jack Reed explains the process already in place. There's multiple reviews by the Department of Homeland Security, face-to-face uh, -face interviews, uh, collaboration and cross-checking with other federal agencies. If it was going to shut down the program in any way, I wouldn't have supported it. But I just added more checks and balances, and it allows Syrian refugees to come here once they're fully vetted. And coming up new at 6, we hear more from Senator Jack Reed on why he feels there may already be enough checks and balances on Syrian refugees. Live in studio, Jonte Lands. Eyewitness News. And tonight we're catching up with Rhode Island's congressional delegation on the passing of the House bill that pauses the Syrian refugee plan. New at 6, why Senator Reid feels there may already be enough checks and balances in place. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance joins us now with more. Shannon, bottom line, Senator Jack Reid says he wants to carefully review the current law. The debate over allowing Syrian refugees into the U.S. amid the deadly Paris terrorist attacks continues after Thursday's controversial vote in the U.S. House. The bill is passed. The House passed a bill called the American Safe Act of 2015. It would suspend the program allowing Syrian and Iraqi refugees into the U.S. until national security agencies certify that they do not pose a security risk. Rhode Island Democrat Senator Jack Reed is cautious. Well, there has to be a careful review of the procedures. They're rather elaborate. The push for the bill comes after a Syrian refugee passport was linked to a terrorist in the Paris attacks. Fellow Democrat Representative Jim Langevin was one of 47 Democrats who voted in favor of the Republicans. I just read the bill. I didn't see anything onerous in there. I saw that the process was going to continue and it was just going to add some more checks and balances to it. Defending the current law, President Barack Obama accused those in favor of the bill as being scared of, quote, widows and orphans. Senator Jack Reed says the process to become a refugee in the U.S. takes about two years. There's multiple reviews by the Department of Homeland Security. And nearly 20 governors, not including Rhode Island, are trying to prevent Syrian refugees from entering their states. Reporting live in the control room, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.